I don't know why the... It's Geth, right? I'm killing these things. For a while now. Serious? You know, uh, I don't know. Some kind. It is an asset we lacked at the other claws. Dislodge even one claw, and that ship will fall. How do you know that? How do they know this stuff? Quick save. Okay, quick save. Great, take all the loot. And um, nothing's there. Alright, server node, shuttle bay, alright. This, I don't know what this is. Oops. I don't trust the Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we develop an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Alright, so there's more side quests. And then there's this. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower. And the safety shut off kicks in if the PSI is above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down hard, slams down with enough power to shear through a metal eye beam. Somebody fix this before one of my team loses an arm in that thing. Alright, between 31 and 34. So what do we have? 5, 7, 17, 11, 13. So 17 and 13 is 30. 17 and 11 is 28, 28, 33. So 17, 11, 5. And then close. Well, that was easy. That was really, really easy. That's it, it just drops off. It doesn't have an engine or something. It doesn't know how to fly. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander, talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Well, talk about a structural vulnerability. <laughs> the door closed, and the guest ship got thrown off. That's basically the story. Okay. Uh, alright. So, where am I going now? Do I have to walk back out? Do I seriously have to take the same way back? Actually, I think there's Geth here now. Hmm. No, no, there's nothing here. Let me just check the map. Yeah, so it's a... It's just a dead end. Alright. Just gonna walk back out, apparently.
We're nowhere near finishing up here though, we still have to find the Thorian. Let's see, oh, okay, so this barrier's gone and now we can walk through here. Oh, hi. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Right. Alright. Okay, so now we have to drive back, basically. And uh, there's gonna be gas here, so... Then... it's gonna be awesome, maybe. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at that. Like everything is supposedly crumbling, but you know, if if you if you lose a bit of your structural beam like that, the whole thing is gonna fall apart. Like they make it look like everything is kind of falling apart, and yet this flimsy little skyway has not fallen apart completely. It's really, look, I mean, look, look how thin this stuff is. Um, okay, so there's Geth in front of us. Let me... Go. Hmm. So our shields took a bit of a hit, but uh, we're still okay. We're at half shields. The shields restore very slowly on this thing too, like they, they take forever to... Actually, let me save the game. See what happens if I do this. But there's another road there, look at that. Look, there's another road here, why can't I just you know, drive along? Never mind, alright, resume our save. So you immediately lose the game. Alright, now we know. There's probably more enemies up ahead. Like, look at that. Look, 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 look at the sign of this building. Hold on. I can get the camera. Look, everything is half destroyed. Look at, look at the wall there. Everything's in ruins, but somehow this building, or this skyscraper, is still standing. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Maybe. Get away from that radio! What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please, help us. That's my mom! Stop! Stop! They're over! <laughs> okay, just run out. Sure. Cover me! Alright. Let's deal with this. What's going on? You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. 
What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogenic Database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. Hmm. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Ferros has. The Thorium. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Alright, so again we talk our way out of trouble. Hey, Gavin. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. I don't know what an OSD is. Something drive? I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Alright, more experience, more money. It's almost time, isn't it? Maybe we can free our friends after all. I have to help them. It's my fault this happened. No, it's not. It's Exogeny's fault. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What'd you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Hmm. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable and affect the colonists without killing them. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Well, here's the... Okay, here we go. Take off. Here's the problem with this. You don't have that many grenades. And me, in my wisdom, did not actually upgrade my grenade capacity. So I have even fewer grenades to get this right. I don't even know if I can get this right now. I don't have enough. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. I don't... Huh. Okay, well, we'll see how well this goes. So the idea is you use the gas grenades on the civilians. So you don't kill them. I also don't know what Liara and, and Tali are going to do. But it's going to ex explode everybody. Because they do that, they explode things. Uh, okay, stop. Okay. Drive like a normal person. Drive like a... Okay, drive. There are enemies up ahead, but I can't see them. Oh, there they are. I... that's not really gonna... 
this. Take out the armature. Take out the gift juggernaut. So they're all dead. My shields are almost gone again. And then this. Alright, let's just uh, save the game again. Because things get complicated here. these things. Thorian Creeper. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> 